Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, and we're back with another Power Query tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at looping and API calls. So let me show you how to do it. All right, all right. So let's look at the API I'll be using. The API is called Evil Insult. So this API, um, this is the address, and let's say I press refresh, it gives me, generates random insult. I press refresh again, another one. You can see at the URL, if I change this to 12, so a random number generator, it will change the insult. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this URL, I'm gonna head on back over to Power BI. You can also do this in Excel, go to Get Data, and you go to Web. You simply paste that URL in there. Okay, it's gonna do a little pop-up. You select the display text, you say transform data. Now it takes you in there, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, change let's quickly change the actual let's call this the insult insult generator and in there i'm just going to do advanced editor i'm just going to do some editing over here i'm going to say new variable url is equal to and i'm going to take this out of there make it a bit more dynamic i'm going to say take that entire url and stick it in there and i'm going to take that number out there because i want to generate that um automatically so i'm just going to say text from and I'm going to feed it a random number generator. So basically generate a random number to stick in there. And that would basically be our URL. I'm just going to say this is actually the URL. And the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this text here to be text. So we know that that variable is called insult text. And we just need to close off this thing with that and say, OK. So now we have our random insult generator. Let's look at the next thing. Now let's look at looping. So what I want to do is, I want to basically look for specific kind of insult. I want to look for insults around your mom. Your mom is fat, your mom is ugly, or insults around how ugly you are, and basically line them up. So I want to iterate, loop through the API until I get a specific keyword in the insult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into a function. I'm going to say, first thing that we need, so function, you just add a little bracket there and a little um, rocket ash. We call that a rocket ash. So we're going to say, first thing, loops as number. So this is going to keep tab of the number of loops that we have. Second thing is, what is the insult key? The insult keyword that we will be looking for. I'm going to call this text. All right, so we'll start with that. So this very first part of the insult generator, this was the web call. The second part, I'm just going to comma in there, this is going to be the loop. Okay, so I'm going to say variable current loop. Current loop is equal to the loops, yeah, plus one. All right, now I'm going to say the output is equal to if text contains I'm going to say if this insult text, yes, contains my insult key. Just another thing I'm going to do. Let's say I'm going to feed it something like mom. Remember, Power Query is case sensitive. So I'm going to take out the case sensitivity. I'm going to say convert this to text upper. And I'm going to say text upper year, upper year as well. Okay, cool. So I'm saying if the insult text contains the insult key that I want, yes, um, then return the insult text. Yeah. Okay, cool. Wonderful. And then I'm saying else, if it does not contain it, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the insult generator again. So I'm going to say at to call the insult generator so i'm going to call myself again so i'm going to call this function again and i'm going to feed it current loop number which we're now iterating yes and i am going to feed it the insult key there we go and that should do it and i just need to say this output over there is equal to that output over there all right, so let's see what happened. Let's say we start with zero loops. The insult key here is, I'm gonna start something simple like you. I'm gonna say invoke. That would be a simple one. You old fast humans. Yes, okay, cool, that's excellent. Now, let's quickly test it with something like mom. I'm gonna say zero, I'm gonna test it with mom. 
and it will take a little bit longer because there's less mom jokes. So we actually found a mom joke that took about three minutes. All right, so now to, pre to prevent infinite looping and looping that takes too long, what I suggest we do is we add a if statement here. We're just gonna say if current loop, let's say the upper limit I want it to be 30. I don't wanna make more than 30 calls. Then, let me start an open bracket here. So if it's um, less than 30 loops, then go through that cycle. But if it's more than 30, no insult found. Let's actually make this a little bit lower. Let's make that 10 for now. All right, so now I'm gonna invoke the function with another table. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna say new query, and I'm just gonna start a blank query, and I'm gonna create a little table here of five, a list of five. Yeah, okay, cool, I'm gonna convert this to a table. I'm gonna call this the function test. Yeah, and I'm gonna add a column. I'm gonna say invoke a custom function, insult test, and we're gonna feed our function, which is an insult generator. The number of loops, we know that's gonna be zero, so I'm just gonna put in there zero. And the insult key I'm gonna look for, let's call it something like Let's just use U for now because there will be it will be quick to get used. I'm just gonna say okay. It's gonna then basically iterate through it until it finds an insult that's worthy of that contains U. So there we go. There's our five insults. All right. So now that we know that it works, I want to do one final thing. I'm gonna look for uh, an ugly insult. So I'm gonna say custom. Yeah, we're gonna. Get that uh, decimal value would be zero, and I'm going to look for ugly. And let's see. Remember, we set that ten iterations for each call, max. If you can't find it, we'll return. We don't know what it is. So you can see it didn't really find any results. So, which is a problem. But what I want to do is I want to see because we set an iteration limit of ten. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to quickly take this um, insult generator. Yeah, I'm going to do some modifications to it. I'm going to say advanced editor. I want to basically see all the insults it went through before it got to that last one. So I'm going to say optional. Yeah. And I'm going to say insult list as a list. Yeah. So this is an optional perimeter. And underneath here, I'm going to see, I'm going to say uh, the current insult is equal to new variable. If this insult list does not contain any values, is null, then add the insult text, right? Else, if there is something in the list, then I wanna add to the list. I'm gonna say list combine, yeah. I'm gonna take the current insult list. Take the insult list and append the insult list with the insult text. Correct. All right, and then I'm just gonna end it off there. And what I'll do is instead of returning this insult text, I am gonna I'm gonna still return that, but what what I'll do here is current insult, I'm gonna add to over here. And what I'll do at the end is I'm just rather going to show us the current current insult. Let's see what that does. Okay, so we're going to invoke this thing. Let's see. So we're going to say invoke it again. Add column invoke. Okay, so we're going to call the insult generator. We are going to set the number of loops to zero. And we're going to say we're looking for ugly. And let's say go. So you see the first one got uh, an ugly, uh, ugly insult. The second one didn't, but if you look at the list it has over here, it basically shows you all the re uh, API calls it got back, all the insults it got back, and that should be 10 of them, right? Um, and none of them contained the keyword ugly. And this third one, we got one. This fourth one, we got an insult. And this last one, we also couldn't find any ugly keyword in the insult, but we went through all of these. So this is a pretty cool way of using APIs, but you can obviously use it for all kinds of business applications. I hope this helped you to think in terms of looping and API calls. BA Sensei out.